Hello YouTube, it's Meili here. Um, I'm finally back and I want to take you guys with me today on a sketchbook tour. Um, I recently completed this big boy. Uh, I started it like five years ago, so it's going to be very interesting and you're going to see my style evolve quite a bit during the video. Um, quick thing, I want to say that I'm going to add a very simple flip through at the end of the video without any voiceover so you will be able to see very quickly all the drawing without having to hear me talk so I don't know if you're interested about something like this I'm gonna add a timestamp at the end of the video okay so um, this is the second time I think I'm finishing a Claire Fontaine gold line sketchbook and I don't know why this is the second one I bought and I don't really like them but um, I don't really enjoy wasting any supply, so I always try to use the most of what I have. So once I started this sketchbook, even though I didn't really like it, uh, I really wanted to finish it anyway. So uh, I think there is a big gap between maybe uh, 2016 and 2020 where I didn't use it at all. And I only picked it up recently to finish it. And I'm so happy I did because um, you can really see my style changing over the years and I think it's really interesting to see. Um, yeah, so as usual it is decorated with my old stickers because um, maybe you, you're aware that I have an Etsy shop where I sell mostly stickers and prints and I make them myself uh, with a secret portrait anyway, that's not very interesting. And sometimes I have misprints or uh, I don't know, I like to test the first stickers I made to make sure they work well, or I don't know. And usually I stick them onto my sketchbooks, so it's like most of my sketchbooks are decorated with my own stickers, if that makes any sense. One last thing is that this sketchbook contains nudity, so if you're not comfortable with nudity, I'm really sorry. Um, okay, let's go. <laughs> so, whoop. We're starting with some clothing sketches. Um, I used to be quite a bit into fashion and fashion drawing and clothing and sewing. So uh, it started, it starts with a lot of them. One thing I want to say, I don't think you guys on YouTube are actually aware, but I am and I have been a designer uh, a clothing designer in Second Life for about 10 years and most of these drawings are some sketches for my 3D work, 3D designs and uh, if I can find the pictures I will add them on top of the sketchbook so you can see the final product uh, and you might be wondering what is she talking about, what is, is Second Life still a thing? Ah, that's another topic for another video I think but yeah that's why I have so many dresses and clothing in here. I remember these. These are kind of cute. Uh, I don't think I haven't I had anything in mind for making these, but. I still like them. So, I, I don't know if it is okay to say this, but these are some self-portrait in the mirror I did like five years ago, once again. Then I remember that that day it was really hot. I think it was during a heat wave, so I wasn't... I was almost naked. I don't know if it's appropriate to say. <laughs> I'm sorry if it didn't. <clears throat> Okay, some cats drawing because, again, I love drawing cats. <laughs> some faces. And this this drawing is like... <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's maybe one of my best drawings ever. I just like <laughs> the shape and the face of this cat. It's like... <laughs> it's so ridiculous, I love it. And of course, it was inspired by my own cat, Philip. This is more 
clothing design for things I did in Second Life. This is a dress design. So yeah, what I did is like I do these sketches as a research for my designs and then I go into Blender and model them and make them into 3D. This one too I did. I think this is some kind, these are some kind of very meditative drawing. So the idea was really, really draw, uh, draw a mess, like without thinking about it, without thinking about the outcome and just have fun and, and write silly things, silly shapes and face. I don't know, this one too. And oh yeah, I remember this. Um, I don't know the date, maybe it was in 2016 and my husband just bought me, how do you say, I don't know, a deep pen thingy and I started doing this very delicate drawing with the deep pen because it was, I wanted to experiment with the tools so I did a couple of these and I remember I saw this one and this one I turned them into very short animation or like animated GIFs and I think I can find the file, so again, I'm gonna add them in the videos if you want to see. Uh, and I remember, yeah, I animated them in After Effects, if I remember well. These were done in watercolor with a deep pen again. one too. This is like a collage. I didn't draw these pastries here. <laughs> I just glued them on top of it. I don't know. I used to do way more collages uh, back then and I want I want to get back to it because it's really we can get really creative results with them and I think yeah we are going through the pages where I didn't really want to use this sketchbook anymore, so I was really drawing on loose watercolor sheets and paper and just cutting them and pasting them into a sketchbook to really fill it very quickly. So there are so many pages where I didn't draw directly in it. I don't know, I just didn't like the sketchbook. And again, I don't really like spiral bound, but uh, I have a tendency, I just keep buying some of them because I don't know why, but I do. And I really have to remember to stop buying them because I really find it pretty inconvenient to draw. Uh, and even to scan, it doesn't, it doesn't really help. So, I don't know. And I turned this drawing into an animation as well. I'm gonna add it maybe around here. Some dinosaurs, I remember I drew them on my birthday. And it was maybe, I don't know what year. There is a year, okay. 2000, I think that was 2017. No, 16? I'm not sure. Sorry. Some floral designs. So once in a while, and like right now, sometimes I get really into flowers and I draw a lot of them because I don't know, I want to practice my line drawings. And I remember back then, I drew quite a lot of them. I made a pattern out of this one. Maybe this one, not sure. And okay, is this the first llama? So this sketchbook has so many llamas because it is Probably, I'm not sure though, uh, because I like foxes as well, but maybe llamas and foxes are my all-time favorite animals and I drew so many of them. So this is the first one in the sketchbook, but you're gonna see so many more. <laughs> so of course, more llamas. 
and this is like I don't know because I like the dinosaurs as well as well so this was some kind of weird mix between a llama and a raptor I don't know why I don't know what happened and it's just very weird <laughs> but I don't know it's here and I made a pattern out of them I think as well some faces I really like this metallic paint here and another llama and of course more llamas and I really liked this one I think it was my Instagram avatar for quite a while because I don't know, he looks so fabulous. <laughs> he makes me happy to look at. And I like this one too. Oh yeah, this one. I was really proud of this one, I think, because it took me... I, I didn't draw daily back then and it was the first time in a while I spent so much time on a drawing and I really liked how it turned out. Some portraits. This is an alpaca. <laughs> Quite a llama. More portraits. It seems like I already had a tendency to draw colored hair people. Like I, I always end up making the hair blue, either blue or pink. <laughs> With a retro wave kind of thing. Lama, of course. Oh yeah, I was so proud of this one as well. Some monsters. So there was a time where I did like a whole series of monsters like this. I don't know. I just wanted to do to draw cute, cute creatures, and I really like them. And I think maybe I just got got back to markers back then, and I really enjoyed drawing them. I was playing with lettering as well, so I think, um, I don't know if you guys have seen my 365 drawing challenge video I have on my YouTube, but uh, I started the challenge by drawing daily very simple objects like vegetables, fruits, and I started included, including like hand lettering because I wanted to get better at hand lettering. and. I think that was around that time as well because I started adding some text and letters to my drawings. Yeah, I was playing with lettering here as well. Some flowers, dead, dead flowers, dead plant from my balcony in Paris. Uh, yeah, I got them before we moved out to have some kind of memory. This is like a sketch for a commission I did a long time ago. And yeah, this was the time I drew some skulls and I had so much fun drawing this. And I think there is the video process of this drawing on my YouTube channel as well. Um, I think the video quality isn't quite nice though. I didn't have a camera back then. Some mermaids. Yeah, so I w always wanted to be kind of to be able to draw mermaids from memory, like from imagination. And back then I wasn't uh, how to say I wasn't comfortable 
enough to draw mermaids and that was the time I was getting more comfortable with drawing I guess and I was able to draw a couple of mermaids that year not sure what year it was, maybe 2016, 17 this one was cute as well But that's why when I got back into drawing, like when I started drawing daily, I really started started with simple subject and not not faces and characters because I find them so challenging. So I really I don't know. I started with fruits and vegetables and simple simple things to draw uh, to really ease back into creating every day. And once I was more comfortable, I started drawing characters and animals and people and it was way easier. These are very recent, I like them. And this is a bit older. Yeah, she's recent as well. And this is the first illustration uh, for my 2017 Inktober. Uh, that was my second time. My second time, second Inktober. And I really wanted to come up to come up with a single character I would use over the months, uh, the months, the month. And I came up with this very cute witch, and I did all my 31 illustrations with her. And maybe some of you are already familiar with her. And I was really happy because um, I only used ink, but this this is like blue ink mixed with um, very opaque white ink and it really looks like gouache it's very opaque and it really goes well with the more transparent red ink around i'm gonna add some close-ups to the video so you will be able to see a bit more some birds i did very recently uh, yeah i was really into drawing birds recently and i did some really nice sketches in another sketchbook and I tried again in this sketchbook to really fill the empty pages and I don't know, they didn't turn as nice <laughs> that day. It happens. Probably because it wasn't really comfortable, like the paper is like warping a bit and there is the, the spiral bind in the way here, I don't know. Maybe I'm making up excuses. <laughs> this is a very big four, four leaves clover. I'm not sure where I find it. I think it's really old. I like this guy. <laughs> he looks very worried. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. So these are the more recent ones uh, because I think this guy is from yeah oh gosh it was two years ago already so as you can see I didn't use the sketchbook for two years it was sitting in my drawer and then I picked it up recently and started filling the last pages and I'm really liking the last pages so yeah I did some fashion kind of thing drawings in ink, I really want to practice my inking again. So these were all done with Pinterest references, I think, if you're wondering. But I think most of these are from imagination. I'm not sure. Maybe I had like a reference for the pose, but they were just very different looking. I don't really remember. And yeah, so I decided to do a couple more mermaids for mermaid this year because uh, obviously I was way more comfortable with drawing um, and I really love how they turned out. I made stickers out of them. They're super cute. I was so happy with the colors as well. So this is like blue ink and Posca paint marker, yellow marker. It really works well together. More of them. And I wanted to do like an old 
fancy mermaid. And I like how she turned out as well. Some ink uh, tests. I don't know, I don't really like how they, they turned out. Um, I'm really inspired by, what's his name, Gibson, from the Gibson Girls. Is it? <laughs> Is it the name? Yeah, I think so. Charles Gibson. So yeah, I like the way he draw. He draws women and the way he inks the faces and the hair. And I don't know, I just can't seem to reproduce it yet. So, but I tried. <laughs> I tried. And I really like to play with ink in general. When it comes to, to black ink, I just get very lost, which is weird because it's just, it's the same technique, but in black, but I don't know. <laughs> so this was a um, first sketch for my illustration that I called Glee, which is a digital illustration. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And this is pretty amazing, like the, the final image of this illustration made it as a daily deviation on DeviantArt, which is absolutely crazy to me because I've been using DeviantArt for like 15 years, like when I was a teenager. And I always dreamed about like becoming a daily deviation, but obviously it never happened and it just happened with this illustration and I was pretty amazed anyway. <laughs> and this is her in another position and some landscapes because I don't know I like drawing landscapes but I never do I never do them uh, I don't have the time to draw everything I want I guess so I did some mini thumbnails and I need to get back into it because I don't know I just like it but I like everything so I have to choose and some sassy talking doodles. I've been really enjoying doing this, playing with the characters, styles and expressions, and adding some text to pimp them a bit, to give them more personality. I don't know. I just really like how these pages turned out. And you already maybe have seen me filling this one on my previous YouTube video. Which is basically the same process for most of all. I just do a sketch and then I ink with a set of like two, four, four to five colors for each page. So all the page kind of looks together because it's just the same colors mixed. And yeah, this is the last one. I really enjoy those guys here. And okay, that's, yes, that's it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any question. And I will try to come back soon with a new video, hopefully. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. If you're interested or if you want to study for, from these drawings, um, I have the, the PDF scans of the full sketchbook uh, available on my Patreon for the $5 Patreon, as well as a few other sketchbooks. So if you want to support me and if you want to look more carefully at those sketches, they're here anyway. And that's okay if you can't, <laughs> no worries. Okay, thank you so much for watching once again and see you guys soon, bye.